Well, these emails are surfacing just as Democrats are getting close to forming articles of impeachment against President Trump, and they may provide new evidence. Now, according to the Washington Post, which first reported these emails, the exchanges began after President Trump ordered the hold on military aid to Ukraine and after his July 25th call with Ukrainian President Zelensky, in which he asked Zelensky to investigate Joe and Hunter Biden. Now, in early August, Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney asked the Office of Management and Budget for legal justification for withholding the aid and how much longer it could be delayed. At the White House podium in October, Mulvaney notably admitted an investigation into the 2016 election and Ukrainian corruption were two of the reasons the aid was held up. In a statement, the Office of Management and Budget stood by its strategy, writing, there was a legal consensus at every step of the way that the money could be withheld in order to conduct the policy review. Now, that aid was eventually released to Ukraine on September 11th. That's two days after Congress found out about the whistleblower complaint that sparked the impeachment inquiry. All right, Ben, we're we're also learning that the House Intelligence Committee has obtained new information about a key figure tied to Rudy Giuliani. That's right. So CBS News has learned that the committee reportedly now has audio and video recordings as well as photographs from Giuliani associate Lev Parnas. Now, Parnas has pled not guilty to campaign finance charges. The congressional committee subpoenaed him last month for information tying him to Rudy Giuliani and President Trump. Parnas is a business associate of Giuliani's. He played a key role in efforts to launch a Ukrainian corruption investigation against Joe and Hunter Biden. And sources tell us that Parnas wants to tell his story and he will comply as necessary. Now, over the weekend, Rudy Giuliani said that he has an insurance policy if President Trump were to throw him under the bus. He later clarified that what he meant by insurance was actually dirt on the Bidens.